looking for somebody I can call to Looking for the only one that I can give my all to Tell me if it's you, you, you What you wanna do, do, do Make a move You can be my teacher, I'll do homework You can give me extra credit, baby, I'll do more work What you wanna do, do Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you a new unit from Outre's newest line, the Melted Hairline series, and the name of this unit is Sabrina. Might be hard to see her because my lighting is really bright, but you'll see her in a thumbnail. If you're not familiar with this new line by Outre, the main idea is that it comes with a frontal effect hairline. So basically, even though this is a preset part with, you know, no other parting space, the front of it will give the same effect as like a 13 by four, 13 by six frontal. This wig does come with soft Swiss lace. It comes with two combs here over at the side, a comb in the back, adjustable straps. They also sewed in an elastic band for it to fit to your head tighter. This unit has a pre-plucked hairline. It does come with baby hairs. The parting space goes back five inches. Yeah, it goes back five inches and it's kind of like a natural curved part. And it also says on the stock card that there's a redesigned comfort fit ear contour. So basically, you know, right here, it kind of comes down over your ear and makes it look a little bit more natural. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. All right, y'all, so let's just get into this unit. Now, honestly, I didn't even know this unit was out. Shout out to one of my subscribers, Debbie. She asked me to review this unit, and I was like, what? Who knew they had another unit out? I decided to scoop her up in this color. I chose this color, the Cinnamon Spice, because I absolutely love this color blend. I would say it's a nice mix of like oranges and red, rouges, even a little bit of like purple mixed in. It's such a beautiful blend. When I reviewed the Nisha 203 unit, I got that unit in this color and I absolutely adored it. So I wanted to get it again. Now I did review two other units from this line. I reviewed Catalina and Natalia. So if you want to check out those videos, I will link them in the description box down below. All right y'all, so let's just get into the pros of Sabrina. The first pro of this unit is absolutely this hairline. At first, I was having a little bit of trouble with blending until I realized, hey, Gladys, you're making this hard on yourself. Just go with your new Holy Grail, which, let me see, where is it? Where is it at, where is it at? Holy Grail, where are you? I've been using this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation to blend my hairline lately, like when I deal with um, lace that's lighter than my skin. It's darker than me, like maybe a shade or two, but it just works really well at canceling out any, you know, lighter tones in lace. If you're on my complexion, something to consider. I would rather use powder, but I just haven't found a powder that works as well as this, this has been working for me. So this is what I'm sticking to until I find a good powder. If you have recommendations, sound off below. So once I put this foundation in, oh, look at that, it just started melting this looks like a frontal but it's not it's not a frontal i have to give it to outre they really did that the point of this little contour here is so that you could like potentially put it behind your ear so something like this she should be able to do which makes it look a look a little more natural to certain people i'm not the type of person to put hair behind my ear so i'm just gonna 
bring this on back. But yes, that is a big pro. Another pro to this unit is the color choice. I think it's absolutely stunning, especially on my skin tone. And I think it would look good on any other skin tone as well. I also really like the way that they did the dark rooting. It looks super natural, very blended. It's not a harsh rooting like we used to see a few years ago in some wigs. For example, Free Trust used to do that. They would have like 1B blonde and it was just so stark and I really grew to this like that. So having dark roots like this just looks a lot more natural, looks better. I also love the parting space area. I think it looks very nice. There's no plucking required and I love that it is a curved part. I think that also adds some realisticness to the unit. Now let's get into the cons y'all. Even though I like the way they constructed the unit, like as far as the cap and everything, I have a few cons. The first con would be the cap size, for me at least. It's not very big head friendly. Even though I'm a medium sized head, it's like kind of medium. I'm not even wearing the straps adjusted right now and I am not using the adjustable band because when I did use it, I mean, it still fit my head, but it definitely fit very snug and tight, which I guess is the point, but I just, I just don't see this being the most comfortable for people with larger heads. And I did notice in other people's reviews that they said that about Leah. I think I said that about Catalina too. I can't remember if I said that about Natalia. But overall, it doesn't seem like some of the units in this line are the most big head friendly. Another conscious unit I would say is the style. This style is doing absolutely nothing for me. It's just not. I originally thought when I first took it out the pack, I was like, ooh, this is giving me like sensational wet lace Chrissy vibes. And I was really excited about that, but it's not. The way they do the flips here, it's very, um, I don't know, it's kind of old school. It's kind of giving me Velma from Scooby-Doo vibes in this color. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You don't know how many times I finger comb through this hair just to make it look presentable for a picture. I don't know y'all. It's definitely giving me like investigative detective vibes too. On the night of July 22nd, 2002, where were you? <laughs> I, it's just, it's not my steeds right now. I attempted to like try to curl this side to maybe give it a little bit more life. And I felt like I was about to mess it up because it started bending a weird way. When it comes to curling synthetic wigs, I thought I was pretty good at it, but with this short wig, it, I was failing. So I just stopped. I just left it alone altogether. Y'all, you know how I am with scissors. I will start chopping things up and that's kind of how I'm feeling. I just kind of want to like snip at it and see if something will happen. But I uh, I don't know guys i could deal with this right here like this little you know that's pretty but yeah cutting this i don't think i would like it no it's just too flat you would just need to do something here to make it fuller i guess that's another con for me because i don't like the style of this wig the density doesn't help either it is very thin and it just makes it look very flat ah uh, Man, y'all, Sabrina, you're kind of disappointing me right now. I really wanted to like this wig and I'm just not feeling her. So I know I said I wasn't going to cut this hair, but I changed my mind. I really didn't like the style, so I decided to cut it and I strained it with this flat iron that you see here. And I really liked it a lot better with the bob style. Let me know how you feel about Sabrina in the comments down below. How do you feel about how I um, blended the hairline? How do you feel about this color, which I think is absolutely popping? How do you feel about the style? Do you agree with me or you, do you disagree? Let's talk about it in the comments. Y'all know I love when y'all talk to me. I would say overall, this is not a wig that I would go out and purchase again, but I love what Altre is doing with this melted hairline. For $39, you can get like a frontal effect versus paying like 50 plus dollars on a synthetic wig frontal. You know what I mean? I like what they're doing, Altre. Right now you are one of my favorites. Even though I'm disappointed by Sabrina, I'm not ruling out the entire line in general. I did like Catalina. Natalia was ugh. Aaliyah, looks good but i don't like the silky texture and i haven't reviewed it yet probably because of that reason but 
If you want to see Aaliyah, let me know. And Rhea, I just never bought. So, I don't know, you guys. Tell me what you think. And if you are new to my channel, please click that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. We are on the road to 10K and I feel it coming. I want it to happen in March. So if you want to help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of March, tap that subscribe button, share this video, tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you want to see some of my other videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh